Hello, we are in Chiselhurst today where we've come to see our installer Carl at work. His client is a huge Aurac fan. They've already done a few of their rooms in Aurac before and now they're on to the next. So let's go and check it out and see what Carl's up to. Follow me. Hey everybody, this is Carl. Hi Carl. Hi there. I see you've got this amazing space here. Would you mind just telling us what you're doing? Yeah, here? absolutely. Yeah, so you say, nice big open area. Uh, we've got two profiles we're going to fit today. We've gone for the um, Orac Step style, which is the C393. So that sits up like so. And then we're going to install the LED up lighter, which will sit halfway down on the bottom part, which will then shine the light up on the top of the coating. And enhancing those steps. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. Do you always use Aurac? I only use Aurac, right now, yeah. I did use to do uh, plastic coating many years ago, um, but for the last 13 years, this is all I do. Um, for numerous reasons, the most important, it's super quick. Yeah. With plastic coating, you generally need two or three of you to hold it while one fixes. This is the only as you saw, super lightweight, which is the most important thing. Um, it doesn't crack like plaster, um, it's waterproof, you can put it in bathrooms. Um, but like I say, the nice thing this room that we're going to do today would probably take me three, maybe four hours. If this was plaster, you'd be in here for three or four days because you've got to wait a bit to dry and you've got to go back and fill it. But with this, we do the filling as we button it close together. So, yeah, so it's great for many reasons. Amazing. Well, with that being said, can you show us some insulation? Absolutely. Can you do it? So the first stage of the installation process is we need to mark where the coating is coming down to on the wall. As you can see, we've got this nice drop down in the ceiling. Um, and the first thing we do is we go to the OAC website. Um, the great website's got everything you need to know about all the models. So we are using the OAC C393 steps. And let's have a look at the drop we've got on that. So we've got a 210 mil drop, 21 centimetres. So first of all, we're going to go around and do the markings, and then we know exactly where the coating's going to come to. So, do that all the way around, and then once we've got that all marked out, then we're ready to do some fitting. Just doing my, my drops, and I've noticed that the electrician has put the cable too high up. This should have come to here. Um, it happens all the time, unfortunately. There's always a miscommunication um, between the, the different contractors on site, but not a problem because the ORAC product is so soft, we can cut a groove in the back of it or we can drill a hole through it to, to allow for that to work. So that's not a problem. So I'm just gonna finish off doing my lines around and then we're gonna stick the first bit up and you'll see the, uh, how nice and easy it is. Okay, so we've got our XL Orac Mitre Box, which we need for the, for the big profile here. We lay this into place, making sure we've got contact, flush contacts on the, the wall side and the ceiling side. So once that's in and ready to go, we make our first cut. So as you saw, real easy to cut. Move that bit of dust. And now I'm going to mark out where the cable is. It's really, like I say, it's um, just in the wrong side of it. And then we'll have to put some adhesive on. Okay, so for this application, we're using the um, Decor Fix Power, which is the FDP 700. Um, nice thing with this, it's great for newly plastered walls. As you can see, it's, it's newly plastered. Um, it's a hydro adhesive, so it uses the moisture that's still in the plaster to go off properly. So we need this on uni plaster balls. So I'm going to put some rubber gloves on, um, only for the simple reason the adhesive is quite hard to get off your fingers. Um, and I like to have clean hands at the end of the day. So the adhesive we have to apply into these grooves. So this is the wall side, this is the ceiling side. So I'm going to run a thin bead. I always cut the end off at a bit of an angle there just so it sits in there real nice. So then once it starts to come through, put a thin bead, put a thin bead across the bottom like so. And what happens when we push this to the ceiling, 
it will squeeze into that gap, which is what's going to allow it to, to hold even better. And of course, we need to do the same to the seam inside, so just spin that round. And because this profile's got the shadow gap, we don't want to put too much, so as we push it tight to the seam and, and of course on all side, we don't want the adhesive to squirt out because then it gets into your shadow gap and it's better to leave that nice and clean. Okay, so we've got our drops, we know where the face is coming to. And what's important at this point is that we don't go too far into the corner because the next part's got to slot in, of course. Push this up tight to the ceiling. And once we've pushed that real tight up on the ceiling and on the side, that's it. No nails needed, it holds itself. So the, the adhesive is super strong, so that's it, no nails. Easy, easy as pie. So we've got a few points of where the adhesive has squirted out, which I was trying not to happen, but real easy. We're just going to wipe that back with a scraper. And there as well. And then I do have some wipes, just to wipe off any any that's got hair stuck on my fingers or just to clean it up basically. And there we go. Right then, so the next bit we're going to put across here. We're putting the lighting trough onto the bottom part of this. We've also got the cable that's in the way. So I've already marked where the bottom part of the LED up light is going to sit. So I'm going to cut this bit here out so we can run the cable down in there and it'll be out of sight in between both bits of coating. As you can see, super soft, really easy to cut. This you can't do with plaster. So as you see, the cables come through the small hole that I've made there, so it's running down on the inside to there. Um, by the time I push this up tight, these gaps will go. I've got a little bit of shaving off to do there, and then that'll be a real nice clean cut. Um, so we're going to put some adhesive on here, and then come back and see it all done. So here we've got the extra um, FX200 adhesive. Now we use this on the straights and the corners. Um, this dries, it's like a clear resin, uh, it takes about two hours to go off fully. Um, so every time we join bits together, whether it be in the corner or on the straight, we put a, a layer of this on the side as we push it to, we wipe it back. But you do have to go back every half hour to every hour, go back to wipe it because as it dries, it does expand. Okay, so adhesive on the top side, the, the back side, and of course the, the joining adhesive. So now we get this into place. Okay, so I'm just going to push this up to make sure this is nice and flush. And as you can see, we've got a bit of adhesive that's come out. I'm just going to scrape that down and on the underside and just use my wipe to wipe it clean. We are going to have to come back and do this every half hour to every hour um, until it's fully gone off. Push it up. If it's not gone flush, just work your way along pushing this up and then we should be nice and flush. There we go, nice and smooth. There is going to be a slight gap. Um, but that should be filled as the adhesive dries, it will expand and we'll just keep wiping that back and then that will be smooth. Um, obviously it's visible now, but once it's painted, you won't see that at all. Okay, so um, we've got the LED lighting trough going along here. Now the client wants this drop we've got here, which is two centimetres, to be the same gap here. So when the, the LED up lighter sits here, we've got the same gap there as we have there. So I'm just going to go along and do my markings ready for the next bit to be fitted. So we've got the adhesive applied. Um, on this one we've got two ridges that we put it on, just flat ridges. And then we've got our marking already up here. And so it's lined up, we can push it really tight. Once again, no nails, just the adhesive, and that's it.
installation to the complex car. Um, the place is already looking amazing with the cornice and the direct lighting. Um, we'll have to come back when it's finished and just get a final shot. Yeah, sure. No problem at all. Thank, Thank you. you.